30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get filled on the App Store or Google Play. Welcome back to another workout. Today's session, we'll be working on your core as well as your cardio. So we want to work on strengthening the core muscles and also to add in some cardio workout to blast belly fats. There will be three exercises for each circuit and we want to end with a cardio workout just to bring your heart rate up. For each workout, it will be 40 seconds work with 20 seconds rest in between. So let's get down onto the mat. All right, so make sure you're firmly seated on your bum with your toes pointed forward, about hip width apart, okay? What I want you to do is support your upper body on your elbow. This is going to be the first workout, which is V crunch, all right? So what I want you to do is push through the mat, lift your leg straight up, crunch, just like a V shape, bring it back down and bring it back up, okay? and it will be 40 seconds work. Let's go. Up and back down. Point your toes up and down. Remember with core exercises, it's not about rushing the workout, but rather it's about engaging your core muscles, feeling your core muscles, and just taking it slow. Because sometimes the slower you do the workout, the more you will feel the work on your core. Good. Up and down. Beginners, if this is too tough, you can always start by bending your knees a little bit and bring it back down. Just about two inches off the floor and up and back down, okay? So keeping your chest up and straight. Do not hunch. Good. All right. Now, plank. Let's go into plank rock, okay? So again, forearms, elbows on the floor. Stand. Keep your back flat and what I want you to do is rock forward and back, forward and back. That's it, okay? Keeping your body and your back straight throughout. Let's go forward and back. Tighten your core muscles. Really engage the core and rock forward and back. Keep your neck in a neutral position and just look down. Good. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Keep going, breathe in and breathe out. Good. Really suck your belly in. Tighten your core muscles. Keep going, flat back, okay? So do not arch or do not dip your back. Straight back and forward and back. Good. Now, cardio blaster, okay? The third workout will be a cardio blaster. Jumping jacks. Simple, yet a very effective workout to drive your heart rate up. So start with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, and just step out, step in, okay? All right, nice and easy. This is your first circuit. Take it easy. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Whew. Find your rhythm, pace your breathing. Good, keep going. Pace your breathing, very nice. Okay, keeping your knees soft and slightly bent throughout. Good, straight arms. Reach both arms straight up and you will feel the work on your shoulders as well as your back. Good, keep going. Last five seconds. And we want to repeat the entire circuit once more. And break. Okay, back down onto the mat, okay? V crunch. Again, remember, point your toes, support your upper body with your arms. Do not sink your chest in. Keep your chest up throughout, okay? Ready? And let's go. Straight up and down, nice and controlled. Up and down. This will really work on your lower abs. Good. And up. Whew. Point your toes. Straight up and back down. Nice. I can feel my abs shaking and my legs shaking as well. And that is absolutely fine. That means your muscles are doing the work. Down and up, up and down. Keep going, up and down. Good. Woo. Breathe out as you come up, okay? And let's get into plank rock. Right. 
elbows and shoulders should be in line and your arms should be straight, okay? If this is too difficult, you can always start on your knees, all right? As you progress, get onto your toes. So let's go. Plank, rock, forward and back. And remember, do not look straight, okay? Gaze gently on the floor, keeping your neck in a neutral position. Keep going, forward and back. Strong shoulders as well, okay? Tighten your core, suck your belly in, feel the burn on your core muscles. Your core is not just your abs, it's your obliques as well as your lower back. Last few more seconds, forward and back, keep going. And now let's get up, all right? Jumping jacks, breathe in, breathe out, and let's get into jumping jacks, okay? Let's push yourself for 50 seconds. Let's go. Find your rhythm, okay? The better you are at pacing your breathing, the longer you will last through the workout. All right, so remember, don't just let your arms flap everywhere. Have control, drive it straight up and back to the side of your body. Straight up and to the side. And just breathe. Last 20 seconds, come on, let's speed it up. Up and down, up and down. Nice. Strong body, strong core. The end of your first circuit. Five more seconds, keep going. Strong arms, strong legs, and rest it out, okay? Take a one minute rest. I'm going to explain to you the next three exercises. The first is going to be knee tucks. So again, lie on your mat, support your upper body with your palms, and all I want you to do is drive your knees in close to your chest, drive it straight out, in and straight out, okay? That's the first workout. The second workout is going to be plank up down. So again, on your elbows, push it straight up, bring it back down, and push it straight up. And the final workout, which is your cardio blaster, is going to be a wide squat to a crisscross, wide, crisscross, wide, okay? Got that? So, three exercises. First will be knee tucks, second, plank up, down, and a cardio blaster to finish the circuit. And we want to repeat it twice. All right, 20 seconds left. If you need to, drink some water, wipe your sweat, and just get your body ready for circuit number two. 10 seconds left. Make sure that your palms are firmly on the floor, supporting your upper body, okay? And ready, toes pointed straight, and let's go. Knee tucks, close to your chest, crunch your abs, upper and lower abs. Bring it in, straighten it, in and out. Good. Drive it in. Whew. As much as you can, okay? Let's go. Keep going. Tuck it in. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Good. Halfway there. Keep pushing it. Do not rush through the workout, okay? Slow down the movement and you will be engaging your core and hip flexors even more. Last one more. Okay, now let's get into plank up, down. This will work on your core as well as your upper body. All right, short breather, 10 seconds left. Make sure that your shoulders and your elbows are both in line. So do not go too far forward. Ready? Up, let's go. Push it up and back down. Minimal movement on your hips, okay? Keeping your core strong, minimal movement on your hips. Do not sway your hips side to side. This is wrong. Push it up, tighten your core and back down. And now the opposite side, up and back down. Good, straight up, down, straight up and down. Very good. Last 10 seconds. Back down, straight up. Whew. Who's with me? Stay strong. Up and now let's get up onto your toes. 
Okay, so white squat to work on the outer part of your glutes as well as your inner thighs, okay? And hop right back in with a crisscross. Ready, step one, let's go. Cross it, and now the opposite side. All right, good. 40 seconds. Down, cross, good. If you want to, bring your arms down as you hop. Very nice. Work on your legs. Feel the burn on your glutes. Back down, cross over, step wide, okay? Make sure that you're stepping wide. Good. Last 10 seconds. Wide. Crisscross. Last two more. Last one more. And rest. Okay, back down. Now that your legs are a little bit sore, the next knee tucks should be tougher. So breathe in, breathe out, catch your breath. Let's get ready. Supporting your upper body with your palms. Okay, and let's go. In and straight out, in and out. Good. Nice and easy. Keep the pace steady, nice and steady. Breathing through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. Nice, feel the upper and the lower abs. Few more, you are almost there. Last five seconds. Last one more. And plank up, down. Okay, now let's get back down onto the mat. All right. Let's all start in a high plank, okay? Use this as your active recovery. Start in a high plank, and we want to get into plank up, down. Let's go. Down, and back up, down, and up. Remember, minimal movement on your hips. Up, push it straight up, and up. Keep your back flat. Down and up, down and up. Good. Strong core, strong upper body. Planks are really good workouts and you can do lots of different variations. Up and good. Now, final cardio blaster and that is the end of second circuit. If you find the jumping to be challenging, what you can do is start in a wide squat, okay? And just step in, step back out, and remove the explosive movement. So down, step in, step back out, down, step in, and step back out, okay? As you progress, then get into a crisscross, down and up, good. Always find your own pace. You are working with your own body, not someone else's body, okay? So listen to your body. Everybody has their own starting point, all right? And the more consistent you are with your workout, the stronger you will be. Good. When I first started, I could not even run two minutes on the treadmill. It was tough, but then you have to slowly progress. Okay, good. Take a one minute break. Grab some water if you need to. Wipe your sweat, we're moving on to the third circuit, okay? <clears throat> all right, let's go through all the exercises. So the first will be crisscross scissors. Again, support your upper body with your elbows, what I want you to do is just like V-tux, but this time I want you to crisscross just like a scissors, okay? A pair of scissors, that's it. Second workout will be Spider-Man plank. The second workout will always be a plank, and this is going to work on your obliques. So again, high plank, crunch to the side, crunch to the side, all right? And the final workout will be a cardio blaster. 
it's going to be kneel to squat. So start in a kneeling position. I want to hop into a squat. Back down and hop, okay? All right, let's start with the first workout. Let's go. Scissors, up and down. All right, straight up and back down. Good. And straight up. As high as you can and slowly back down, okay? Pointing your toes forward. Nice, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Down, close to the floor, and back up. Okay? You don't have to go too wide. Just a small crisscross. Last one. And back up. All right, Spider-Man plank. Let's focus on your obliques. As I said, your core, it's not just your abs, your obliques, and your lower back as well. So high plank, all right, let's go. Right elbow to right knee, okay? And let's go. Right knee to the elbow and the opposite side. Good, reaching through and straight back into a plank. This is not an easy workout, all right? So find your own pace. Keeping your body as still as possible Feel your obliques working. Crunch it and crunch it. Nice. Driving your knee as close to your elbow as possible. Keep going, you're almost there. Last few more. And oh, 20 seconds rest before our next cardio blaster, all right? So the next cardio blaster will be a kneel to squat. If this is too challenging, what you can do is start in a kneeling position and just step straight up and back down, okay? Let's go. Choose your option. Step straight up, back down, or from a kneel, explode into a squat, back down, explode, tighten your core into a squat. So use the strength from your core and also the strength from your thighs and explode and back down. Down, good. Again, push it up and down. Woo! My heart rate is skyrocketing. Up and down. And back up and back down, okay? A few more, up, down. Last one, up and down, okay? Repeat the entire circuit once more. So, let's get back down. Woo! Oh, it's not gonna be easy, but this is what it takes to work on your core as well as your cardio to blast belly fat, all right? So let's go. Crisscross. Straight up as high as you can and slowly come back down, okay? Straight up and back down. Good. Nice, halfway there. Whew. Keeping your legs as straight as possible, toes pointed forward. Okay, keep your chest up. Last one, let's bring it back down. And rest it out. Okay, get yourself into a high plank, all right? Oh, I can see my sweat dripping straight onto the mat. All right, let's get into a high plank. This is your short active recovery, okay? And we want to get straight into Spider-Man plank. Okay, let's go. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Good. Breathe and gaze gently on the mat. Breathe. Strong upper body, strong core, all working together to support your body. 10 seconds left. Let's go. See your sweat dripping. Remember, like I've always said, that's your fat crying. Keep going, last one. And last cardio blaster 
for this circuit, okay? Woo! Catch your breath, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, let's get back down onto the floor. Kneel to squat, all right? Five more seconds, breathe in, breathe out. Choose your option. If you do have knee injuries, then choose to just step up, okay? Down and step up. Choose your option, okay? If not, go all out, explode into a squat. Woo! I love this workout. It's such a good workout for your core as well as your lower body. And it will really make your body burn lots and lots of calories. Halfway there. You're doing strong. Three circuits, almost done. One more to go. Let's go. Look straight ahead, chest up, and rest it out. Okay, one minute break, okay? If you really need to get into a child's pose. And just bring your heart rate back down, okay? Take this time to breathe. All right. I'm going to go through the final circuit with you. The first workout will be Russian twist. So again, sit on your bum, choose your option, okay? We're doing this without any weights. So you can place both heels on the floor and just lean your body back slightly. Tap, gently just tap, twisting your entire upper body, working on your obliques. If you want to challenge yourself, then you can always lift both legs off the floor and twist, all right? Next workout, plank, hip, dip. So get into a low plank, and what I want you to do is dip your hips side to side, all right? And we want to end the workout with your favorite exercise. Burpees, yes, you got it, burpees. Okay, so let's get into position. Let's start with the first workout, which is Russian twist working on your obliques. So choose your option. To begin with, you can just lean back slightly and just tap side to side, okay? As long as you feel your core and your obliques working. To challenge your core even more, then lift your legs off and tap side to side, okay? Find which works for you. You can start with your heels on the floor and midway through, lift your heels up. Good, tap side to side and just tap. Very good. Keep going. Five more seconds. Keep your legs straight, okay? Do not rotate your legs. And good, okay. Now, plank, hip, dip, okay? Oh. My sweat is just dripping through, but I'm feeling really good. I can feel your burn and your soreness, okay? Stay with me, this is your finest circuit. All right, plank, hip, dip, let's go. Left and right, left and right. Good, keep going. Still working on your obliques, dipping your hips side to side. Again, do not pike too high up, okay? If you're doing this, this is wrong. Or do not arch your lower back. So, making sure your back is flat, dip your hips side to side, and feel the side of your abs working. Good, dip it side to side. Last five seconds, two more, and you are done. Okay, cardio blaster. Let's give it your all, burpees, all right? Find your option, choose your option. If you want to do it without a hop, that's fine as well. Find what works for you. Remember, this is your finest circuit. So. I want to see all your energy. Let's go. In, hop up, back down, and up. Good. And woo. Keep going. Get into a high plank, okay? Nice. Both feet in and jump as high as you can. Good. Woo. Only 40. Seconds. Last few more. Give me at least two more. And last one. Oh, all right. Breathe 
breathe and breathe. One final round. So let's get back down onto the floor. We have Russian twist. Okay. Woo. I am feeling sore, tired, everything, you name it, okay? So legs up and just twist side to side. If you want to find your balance, look at one point straight ahead of you, okay? Instead of rotating your head. So keep your head still, find your focal point and just twist your core side to side, okay? Twist, keep going, nice. Last 10 more seconds, leg strong, strong core, few more, last five more seconds. Woo. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Woo. You crazy, amazing human being. Oh, two more exercises, 40 seconds each, and you're gonna give me a high five right at the end of this workout. Okay, let's get down into plank, hip dip. Let's go, you're almost there. Stay with me. Whew. Left and right. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's focus on your body right now. Do not think or worry about the time, but rather focus on engaging your core muscles, focus on how your body is feeling right at this moment. You are almost there, okay? Listen to yourself, listen to your body, find the strength within you. Okay. Oh, one final burpees. You got this. You got this, okay? 40 seconds left. You have done 25 minutes of workout with me and you have only 40 seconds left. That's nothing, okay? Let's stand up. Let's get into burpees and let's hop straight up. Good, both legs in, as high as you can, okay? Hop, good. If this is too tough, stand up and reach. Find your option. Everybody needs a starting point. You are only in competition with yourself and nobody else. Keep going, push your limits. Get stronger mentally and physically. Nice, see a sweat dripping? That's your own effort and nobody else. Last one more. And very, very well done. Oh. All right, now just take a deep breath in. Breathe out. And just bring your heart rate back down, okay? All right. I want you to spend at least five minutes to stretch your entire body out, keep yourself hydrated. Remember, it is very important to keep yourself hydrated throughout the workout, okay? You have done such an amazing job. This workout will work both on your core as well as your cardio by driving your heart rate up. Let me know in the comments below if you are drenched in sweat like me and if your core is on fire, okay? Give me a thumbs up, share this workout and challenge your friends to a core and cardio workout for the next four weeks. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet done it and check out a lot more workout videos, fitness tips, as well as healthy recipes. All the best.